Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on cosets in group theory of discrete mathematics course. In the previous videos, we are already solved two example problems on cosets. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my channel. Now, in this video, we have to solve one more example problem on cosets in group theory of discrete mathematics course. Okay. Find out all distinct left cosets and right cosets of subgroup H is equal to set of 1 comma minus 1 in a group G comma star where G is equal to set of 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i. So, let G comma star be a group and G can be defined as set of 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i. H comma star is a subgroup of G comma star and H can be defined as set of 1 comma minus 1. So, this is the given data in the above problem. Now, we have to find out the left cosets. Okay. So, the left coset can be defined in this form. So, A into H is equal to A into small h such that h belongs to capital H. So, in this way, we have to define the left coset. Okay, here where element A is in G, that means A belongs to G and small h belongs to capital H. Okay, we have Each and every element in G that is multiplied with elements of H, then we have to form a left coset. Okay. So, here how many number of elements are there in G? So, there are four elements are there. So, 1 minus 1, i minus i. First, I am taking element 1 of G. Now, Element 1 is multiplied with all the elements of subgroup H, then we can form the left coset. So, that is 1 into capital H is equal to. So, element 1 is multiplied with all the elements of subgroup H. So, 1 into 1, that is nothing but. 1 into 1 is nothing but 1. 1 into minus 1. 1 into minus 1. So, that is equal to 1 into 1 is nothing but 1. 1 into minus 1 is nothing but minus 1. So, that is equal to H. Okay. Next. Next, I am taking another element in G. That is minus 1 belongs to G. Okay. So, minus 1 into H. Okay. Here, minus 1 is multiplied with 1. Next, minus 1 is multiplied with minus 1. So, that is equal to minus 1 into 1 is nothing but minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is nothing but 1. So, that is equal to 1 comma minus 1. So, that is equal to H. Here, 1 is exist on the left hand side of capital H. So, then it can be called as a left coset. Here, minus 1 is exist on the left hand side of subgroup H. Then it can be formed as a left coset. Okay. What is the next element in G? That is I. So, I belongs to G. Okay. Now, I is multiplied with all the elements of H. So, 
आई इंटू हेच इज इक्वल टू आई इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वन नेक्स्ट I is multiplied with minus one. So then, what we are getting? I into one is nothing but I. I into minus one is nothing but minus I. So I into minus I we are getting. Next, what is the next element in G? Minus I. So minus I belongs to G. Now minus i is multiplied with all the elements of h, then we can form a left coset. So that is minus i into h. So that is equal to minus i is multiplied with one. Next minus i is multiplied with minus one. So then what we are getting? Minus i into one is nothing but minus i. Minus i into minus one is nothing but i. So that is equal to it can be written as i comma minus i. Okay, here i is exist on the left hand side of h. Then we can form a left coset by multiplying i with each and every element in h. Next one. Minus i is exist on the left hand side of h, so minus i is multiplied with all the elements of h. Then it can be formed as a left coset. Okay. Next. Now we have to find out right cosets. Right cosets. So the right coset can be formed as first I am taking element one. One belongs to G. Now the right coset can be formed by multiplying each and every element in H with only element one in G. Then we can form a right coset. So the right coset can be formed in this way: H into one. Okay, here one is exist on the right hand side of H. Then we can form a right coset. Now here one is multiplied with element one in G. Next minus one is multiplied with only element one in G. So minus one into one. Okay, so then what we are getting one into one is nothing but one. Minus one into one is nothing but minus one. So one comma minus one is nothing but h. Okay. Next, I am taking element minus one in G. That is minus one belongs to G. Okay. Each and every element in h is multiplied with only element minus one in G. Then we can form a right coset. So that is h into Minus one. That is equal to first element one is multiplied with minus one in G. So one into minus one comma minus one is multiplied with minus one in G. So minus one into minus one. So then what we are getting one into minus one. That is nothing but minus one. Minus one into minus one. That is nothing but one. So that is equal to one comma minus one. So that is equal to h. Okay. Next, I am taking element i in G. So i belongs to G. Okay. So each and every element in h is multiplied with only ith element in G. Then we can form a right coset. So that means h into i. H into I is nothing but so first one is multiplied with I, one is multiplied with I. Next minus one is multiplied with I in G. Okay, then what we are getting here? One into I is nothing but I. Minus one into I is nothing but minus I. 
so i comma minus i next last element in g that is minus i belongs to g okay so each and every element in h is multiplied with only one element in g that is minus i so h into minus i so that is equal to 1 into minus i 1 into minus i comma minus 1 into minus i minus 1 into minus i so then what we are getting so minus i comma i so it can be written as i comma minus i okay so these are the left cosets and these are the right cosets so how many distinct left cosets how many distinct right cosets we are getting here when we are taking element 1 then we are getting h when we are taking element minus 1 in g then we are also getting h okay when we are taking element i in g then we are getting set of i comma minus i when we are taking minus i in g then we are getting i comma minus i so how many number of distinct left cosets or right cosets we are getting so that is 1 into h that is nothing but h next i into h so these are the uh, distinct left cosets we are getting so therefore here distinct left cosets distinct left cosets are okay 1 into h so 1 into h next one already we are getting h h is already we are getting no. next i into h i into h these are the distinct left cosets we are getting what are the distinct right cosets distinct right cosets Here, when we are taking element 1 in G, we are getting H. When we are taking minus 1 of G, we are getting H. So, I am taking H into 1. H into 1 is nothing but H. Here also 1 into H is nothing but H. Next one, here H into I. Okay. So, here I am taking H into 1 or H into minus 1 h into i or h into minus i okay two distinct right cosets here two distinct left cosets here one into h or minus one into h i am also taking no problem because both are generating capital h here i into h or minus i into h because both are generating set of i comma minus i so, distinct left cosets are 1 into h or a minus 1 into h. i into h or a minus i into h. Next, distinct right cosets are h into 1 or a h into minus 1, comma, h into i or a h into minus i. So, these are the distinct left cosets and distinct right cosets of a given problem. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Thank you.